All right, guys, in this video, let us have a look at filters. Now, filters help you to format your expressions and they can also be used with directives. Let us go through some examples to learn how filters work. Let's go to app.js and in a controller, create a new array of employees. So $scope.employees is equal to an array. And in our array, let us specify our first employee the employee has a first name, Chandler. There's also a last name, Bing. And let's say an employee has salary and Chandler earns 50,000. Let's go ahead and quick, quickly copy the employee and paste it to create two new employees. And we can change the name of our second employee to Ross Geller. And let's say Ross earns 40,000. And we have finally Joey Tribbiani. And let's say Joey earns 30,000. Now go ahead and save app.js. Go back to your index.html file and let's see how to display the data. Now, if you recollect, when we have to display data from an array, we're going to be making use of the ng-repeat directive. So create a new div tag and specify ng-repeat is equal to employee and employees. So we are going to be iterating through each employee in the employees collection and assigning it to an employee variable. So let us go and see how to display the first name, last name, and the salary. Create a paragraph tag and type first name is employee dot first name. And then last name is employee dot last name. Finally, we have salary is employee dot salary go ahead and save it now, if we reload our browser we get all the data from our array so we have our first employee Chandler Bing who earns 50,000 we have Ross Keller who earns 40,000 finally Joey Tribbiani who earns 30,000 now what filters do is allow you to format your expression let us say we want the first name to be displayed only in the uppercase. So go ahead, add a pipe character and type uppercase. Now how filters work are, there's going to be a left hand side which is the expression followed by a pipe character and a right hand side which is the filter. Now the left hand side is going to be processed through the pipe and apply the uppercase filter. Let us see how the output looks. Go ahead and save it, reload it, and now we see that all the first name employees have Chandler, Ross, Joey in uppercase. Similarly, we also have a lowercase filter. So lowercase, save it. Now, if we notice B is capital in Bing, we reload it, all the last name have been turned to lowercase. Now we can also have a currency filter. Now what this currency filter is does is going to take a numerical value and convert it into a currency. If you refresh it, the salary is $50,000 and it also adds two decimal places. We also have another filter called limit two. So limit two and it takes an option which is the number of characters so if you type limit to 3 and save it and notice the first name only three letters are displayed so what the limit to filter does is it is going to restrict the number of characters and the expression it is also possible to chain filters so go ahead and type uppercase and then it is followed by the limit to filter 
save it, reload it. We see that the first name is uppercase in all the three cases and it has been limited to just three characters. Now it is also possible to use filters with a directive. Let us use some with the ng repeat. Now within our ng repeat, add a piping character and type limit two and this time let's specify the option as two. Now when the limit two filter is used within ng repeat, it is going to re limit the iterations to only twice. So when you reload it, we have Chandler Bing, we have Ross Geller, but we don't have Joey Tribbiani. Only the first two items in the collection is going to be processed. We can also use another directive called order by. So order by. Now order by takes the data with which you want to sort. So let us say we want to sort it by salary. Save it. Reload it. Now if you see we have Joey who has the least salary as our first item, so our first employee. So with salary 30,000, which is followed by salary of 40,000 and finally salary of 50,000. If you want to sort it by descending order, just add a hyphen sign before salary, save it, and then reload it. We have 50,000 as first employee, 40,000 followed by 30,000. So that's pretty much it about filters. Filters can be used to format expressions and directives. It usually follows a left hand side, an expression, then a piping character followed by the filter that you want to use. Now in our next video, let us go ahead and study about a new directive called ng-click. So I'll see you in the next video.